Hey everyone, it's Civics Review here, and we are making a very different video today. Normally, my videos can be described as, well, edutastic or nerdy. Wait, can we say nerdy? All right, I said nerdy. But for today, we're going to be going to the iCivics library and checking out their collection of games. Now, I have a ridiculous amount of minutes logged into these games over the years. I mean, I might be the world record holder. So we're going to call this series of videos. All right, who's ready to learn? No, I'm just kidding. Well, we might learn something, but yeah, let's just play. I'm ruining it. I'm gonna just, just play. There you are, the next president of the United States. That is, if uh -huh. you listen to my advice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My name's okay. Anna. Mm -hmm. I'm your yeah. campaign yeah, manager. I heard about that. Do you want to stick mm -hmm. with the issues of yep. your party? Yep. Or break away? Yep. If your popularity yep. is yep. low yep. for yep. a state yep. right yep. now, yep. you can sway them totally. in your favor. Remember, mm -hmm. it's yep. still yep. early in the campaign. It's to help you run a successful campaign. Wait a minute. As president, I get to hear the secrets of Area 51? Wait, what am I doing again? Now for the part where students spend the most amount of time on and it doesn't really matter. We're going random here. Yeah, that's my guy. Cogsworth McGee. He looks like a Cogsworth McGee. You know, I, I met a Cogsworth McGee way back in my days in university. <clears throat> going random again here. Hmm. Well, okay. Fun facts about Rhode Island. Rhode Island is a small state in the United States. Those aren't fun facts. These are not, there's nothing fun about this. Come on, Rhode Island. You are the celebrated homeland of Cogsworth McGee. We have to do better. Let's try again. Rhode Island is the smallest U.S. state. Until 2020, it had the largest state name. Despite its dim- What? Until 2020, it had the longest state name? Whoa, stop. Hold the phone. We we need an investigation. An, invest, an investigation is happening right now. Throughout its history, the state of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations has held the distinction of being the smallest state with the longest name. Okay, so they dropped and Providence Plantations from the official name of the state. Now we're cooking with gas. And now for the big question here, the Democratic Party or the Republican Party? I'm just gonna roll randomly here. One through 10 is gonna be the Republicans. 11 through 20 is going to be the Democrats. Well then, it's the Democratic Party. Time to choose the important issues that Cogsworth McGee is gonna push through if he's elected as president. I don't really put too much effort into these things. I usually select the hot issue. I don't know, I guess they're gonna be more on the board and will be more helpful. And then I'll fill out with, uh, with the rest of them. I'm sure it's not really gonna matter, come on. Rainbow flags for everyone. It should be the law as it matches with everything. Wait, sorry, I am so tempted to choose this answer choice. Rainbow flags match with everything, really? Let's put that to the test here. Rainbow flags for everyone. It should be the law as it matches with everything. Does that match everything? Look, she knows. This lady knows. Do you want to stick with the issues of your party? Or break away and be a- Cogsworth McGee lives on the edge. We're absolutely going rogue here. Ending the opioid crisis. This is gonna win me the game right here. Just you watch. Now to choose my vice president, somebody I can do an awkward handshake with or awkward hug during the election. It's gotta be done. I'm gonna choose somebody I think is gonna help me win this election. I need more votes. Cogsworth McGee is almost there. Popular with older Americans, Bazinga. Cogsworth has got the young vote. Let me just tell you something right now. My platform resonates with the young people. It's the oldies I'm worried about. I gotta get grandma and grandpa out here to vote for me, and Clarkson my is the one to do it. Canada That's my ticket. Clarkson. Week 10 starting somewhere in the mountains. We're going like five miles an hour here. We're not in a big rush. Randomizing states. Beep boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, Hey, look at that. We've got a slight lead here. First thing we got to do is raise those funds. And I understand this is an important part of the campaign, but just look at this. This is so weird. In my head, this is what I'm picturing. 
North Carolina, I'm Cogsworth McGee and I'm counting on you. Okay, whatever. We're gonna go straight to the polling and we gotta get to California first. Keep your fingers crossed that this is in our favor. And that's how you play Win the White House. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks so much for sticking to me. No, just, just kidding. But uh, yeah, my, my Republican opponent here is going to try and get some momentum moving in California. I think that's a good move, but uh, as long as we can keep California, we're going to be just fine. I'm going to go somewhere else to get momentum moving in another state, and I'll come back to California and try and put out the fire here. Oh snap, my Republican opponent is really pushing for California. It's a sad I love the negative campaign ads you can run in this game, and I'm not sure why we haven't picked up on this in real life. Look how effective this is. Would you vote for this person? Neither would I. Week 9, still in the mountains somewhere, still going real slow. Alright, Operation Win Back California is now underway. First things first is we're going to be attacked by California donors as they hurl their cash at us. This time we get more though. Well, it appears we've hit a little bit of a snag in California. There's no way to win this. Every single issue that my opponent does not like that I can talk smack about, and all the issues I have, they don't match. I literally can't find one issue to stand on in California to make them like me. It looks like I'm just gonna have to abandon 55 electoral votes. I'm super glad I picked the hot issue items which do not appear in California. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, game, for making this more interesting. So we're gonna fly to Maryland, try and get those 10 electoral votes. We're gonna pull Texas. Okay, great, that's in my favor. Hopefully we'll be able to keep it with some kind of issue that we all agree on. And a negative ad in Wisconsin for their 10 electoral votes. Guys, we are in full crisis mode. We're about to lose California and there's not a darn thing that we can do about it. Thank goodness we have, but oh gosh, that hurts watching that. But at least we have Texas. I'm starting to pick off the smaller states that are worth a handful of electoral votes. We're going for the biggest ones on the board. That's the best that we can do. <sighs> Texas, throw your money at me. Yep, that's definitely not happening. All right, well, we're gonna fly over here and get some momentum going for Team Blue. And now the question on everybody's mind is, how does Florida feel about Cogsworth McGee? You know what? They're being stubborn right now. I can see a couple of supporting issues that match my own. I'm gonna win them back. Well, actually, Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so yes, I can change the momentum in Florida. We're gonna start by attacking our opponent's stance on expanding competition in healthcare. Still super effective. All right, in this pivotal week, we're gonna find out how New York feels about us, and from there, you kind of just manage the game and try and win the smaller states. Okay, this is slightly embarrassing. We have a deficit on week seven, but we're gonna test New York here, and yes, New York loves me. We're gonna be able to keep them too, it looks like. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna battle Texas, Florida, and New York. We're trying to pick up a couple of extra states and giving away or seeding some of the smaller states to my opponent. They're gonna go after random weird states that don't have a lot of electoral votes. Those are not fights Cogsworth McGee is willing to get into. And from week to week here on out, you're gonna find out a couple of things. One is I never leave the mountains. For whatever reason, my tour bus is lost and we don't know where we're going. Or two, there's just mountains all over the United States of America and we know that to be geographically inaccurate. And three, you're gonna see my lead start to grow incrementally as I take over some of the bigger states and my opponent wins the smaller ones. Well, election day is finally here and the Democratic candidate, Cogsworth McGee, has completely and totally lost California. If I can direct your attention to the East Coast, you'll notice Rhode Island did not vote for me. Why is that a big deal? Well, that's where I'm from. My own state 
Hey, hey Slate. Slate. Usually, presidential candidates await the election results in their home state, getting ready to party and celebrate if they do win. That's not going to be the case for Cogsworth McGee. We got to go somewhere else. The hot issues I chose at the beginning of the game have been nearly useless. This campaign has been a literal nightmare. This is the moment of truth. You did it! We sure did! Of the remaining states that were unpolled, seven ended up being for the Democrats, 12 for the Republicans. I'm not really sure where this party is taking place, but I know for sure it's not in Rhode Island. The real prize here for Cogsworth McGee, of course, is adding 38 more minutes to my insane iCivics game time. I'm not embarrassed or proud. Anyways, I really had a lot of fun doing this, and we're probably going to do a couple more. I'm not quite sure what game I'd like to do next, but if you have an idea or suggestion, leave me a comment down below. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks so much for sticking to the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. We'll make more videos soon.